Hey guys, so I am so excited about this item today that I decided to do a whole separate video on it rather than just putting it in one of my haul videos. <sighs> Every time. Go lay down. So last year around this time, I believe it was around this time because it was released for the holidays, they had Hourglass released their um, ambient lighting palette. And this was like one of the most Somebody walking by the window <laughs> just scared the crap out of me. This is like one of the most, uh, I don't know the word for it. Everybody was excited for this, put it that way, because you get three colors. The middle one was a limited edition one. This palette is now a permanent hourglass item, but I know that this came out probably, is it October that they usually send out the, um, the Sephora 20% off codes because I know I used that to get this um, last year and I use this thing constantly and it still doesn't even look like I've put a dent in it in any of the colors so it's just the ambient lighting powders just make your face look finished and nice and each one gives like a different effect but I just love this so much so this year um, I'm not, I don't think it's available yet to everybody, but the VIB Rouge members on Sephora were able to order it already, if you wanted to. <laughs> and of course I did, because this is one of the things I've been looking forward to the most this year. So this was the, did I, or, I'm so excited, I don't even remember what I already said. It's a ambient blush palette, ambient lighting blush palette. So it's the same packaging, but a different color. This was the... This was last year's ambient lighting palette. This is the blush palette. It's gold, like their blushes. Um, I only have one from them, which is Radiant Magenta, and I love it. So this is what a full-size one looks like. So there's a bit of a size difference. The full-size ones are uh, 4.2 grams, and each one of these I believe is 3.3 uh, 3 grams. So it's not a huge size difference and they're really pigmented so you only need the littlest bit anyway. Um, I can see this lasting me a really long time as well. The, uh, the colors in here are uh, Luminous Flush, which is Luminous Light mixed with a pinky kind of like bubblegum pink blush. This one is their limited edition one for this palette which is called Incandescent Electra. It is the limited edition incandescent light from last year's palette mixed with a coral blush. And that's the one I have on today uh, pretty lightly but I'm going to a Frozen themed birthday party later so I wanted to do my uh, my makeup accordingly. So I have like frosty blue with purple liner. Can you get down please? This one right here is Mood Light, um, which is just the, uh, is it Mood Light? Is that the name of it? Mood Exposure, which is just Mood Light ambient lighting powder with kind of like a plum blush. And it got kind of weird when I swatched it and was playing with it. So anyways, just like the ambient lighting powders, they're really, really soft. So if you were to drop this, I'm sure it would shatter into a million pieces, which is the only thing I'm scared about with it because <laughs> I've been dropping a lot of things and breaking them lately, makeup-wise. So sorry, I have to keep pausing this because the dog's going nuts. So I'm going to show you, and I already did a review of this on my blog. I will post it below. Um... So the Luminous Flush, when I heard that this palette was coming out, I was original, I was going to get um, Mood Exposure, but when I heard that this palette was coming out, I didn't know what colors were going to be in it, so I stopped buying Hourglass blushes, but um, this is what the blush part looks like, which is just a pink, and then that's what the in uh, Luminous Light looks like. So I'm going to show you those two and then I'll show you them together. Really pretty, like medium pink. I guess it's not so much a bubblegum pink. And then this is more of a champagne. And then together 
they make just a really pretty light pink blush. But I find a lot of the times, see it's so pretty, and super pigmented, I only lightly touched that. I found a lot of the times I don't need highlighter really with these blushes just because they're so, that's the thing, they're hard to explain because they're not super shimmery, um, but they still manage to give you a nice glow. So you get the flushed look of blush with a nice glowing finish because of the ambient lighting powder mixed in with it. And another thing with these, when the blushes first came out, this was a complaint among a lot of people, is that a lot of them, because they're a veined product like that, a lot of people complained that they got more of the ambient lighting powder than the blush. I think mine is pretty good. I mean, I don't have any complaints with it. There's plenty of color in there for me, and they're super pigmented anyway. And even my, um, my Radiant Magenta one, I didn't have any issues there either, because, I mean, there's tons of pink in that one. So, I don't know. I guess maybe I got lucky. Um, with my, my veining, I guess. It's kind of like with the, um, the MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes. Some of them are veined, like, um, Perfect Topping. I know that was an another one that people complained about. They didn't have enough purple veining in it or whatever. Alright, so then Incandescent Electro, which, like I said, is what I have on today. The, if I can get a swatch of just the colors here. This is what the incandescent light looks like, and then this is the blush, which is a corally color. Really pretty. I don't really have a lot of coral blushes, and I damn sure don't have one that's this color, so... So nice. And then together, it looks like what's on my cheeks, but I'm gonna blend it anyway. That's that one. And out of the three, this one's probably the most shimmery. Like, you can see when it hits the light. But it's not, like, glitter shimmer, you know? So it's really nice. I don't mind a shimmery blush, but I know a lot of people don't like that, so I figured that's why I would do swatches. And then the last one is uh, Mood Exposure. Um, which is the one I was going to get next, but like I said, when I found out the palette was coming out, I didn't know which colors were going to be in here, and I didn't want doubles, so... This one's kind of hard to get uh, individual swatches, but that's Mood Light. And then this is the blush, which is kind of like a... I don't know, it's a weird... Almost like a tannish plum. That's Mood Light, and then that's the plumish color. Everybody's going by with loud uh, radios in their car today for some reason. And then swirled together, this is what they look like. That was a rather big swatch, but very pretty. So what I like about this is that all three of these colors are colors that I would wear on a regular basis. So I know I'm going to get a ton of use out of this. 58 bucks for a palette of three blushes is a lot, but Hourglass is expensive, and I think this is worth it because you get three different colors in there, and like I said, it's not that much of a size difference between these and the full-size ones, plus you get three different colors to choose from, and they're super pigmented, so you're not going to be blowing through the product unless you put a ton of blush on and look ridiculous, so... Um, I just wanted to make a quick little video about it, even though this is already like 10 minutes, but I have to cut out all the parts where Izzy jumped in the frame. Um, definitely keep an eye out for it, because I know even though it's been on the Sephora site a couple of times so far for VIB Rouge members to order, it keeps selling out. So when they actually do have it, I know it's going to sell out fast. But again, the one last year that I was so ups uh so worried about not being able to get. When it finally came back in stock, I ordered it, and then it ended up just recently becoming a permanent product. So I'm sure if enough, there's enough demand for the blush one, the same thing's going to happen. It'll end up being permanent, but if you guys are like me, you want it right away. So <laughs> I already ordered mine, and I have it. Um, but yeah, having the two of these together now is just... These are like the only things I've been using for my face makeup. Well, I didn't use the ambient lighting palette today, but... 
Um, they're amazing. I highly recommend Hourglass. I also, I have like a sample size of one of their liquid lipsticks and I really want to get the full size of it. It's the, um, I think it's called Icon. It's just a bright red and it's really comparable to like the Lime Crime um, Velveteens. They last all day and like the, the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. They last all day long. They're really, really nice, but they're $28 a piece, so that's another thing that's like, for one lip product being that much is kind of iffy. I don't know. Um, that's it for now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. I'm going to link my blog review below because I have better swatch pictures and stuff in there, and I will talk to you in my next video.